Hey, oh Pisces, welcome to your reading. So today we're going to be talking about new love and we're going to talk about their personality, how you'll meet, how the relationship will be. We're going to pull some timing and we are doing this because I do have a private reading dedicated to new love. So if you want to dive a little deeper into this, uh, there is going to be a link down below for the shop where you can check out the details and everything. And yeah, so don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's dive right into it. So what do we have for Pisces? We're going to start here with some, ooh, with some traits. Take how many resonate, okay? Whatever feels right, whatever feels aligned with you. So we have funny, we also have 20 to 25. So again, maybe 20 to 25 doesn't really resonate with you. It's okay, all right? This is a general reading. We do have funny there. So I do feel like this person is very... Um, I'm hearing quirky. I feel like they have an, uh, an odd sense of humor. It's like, um, I feel like sometimes they're not really understood because I feel like they're, they feel sometimes a little bit has an outcast. Um, because I really feel like they have, I also feel like they may dress a little bit weird. They may have some like weird combinations. I'm thinking of like me before you where she, she was like, uh, her, clothing was a little bit all over the place you know she was always people were always talking about her clothing and everything and how she would match things up and I feel like there could be a little bit of that energy where I feel like uh, this person may I don't know I really feel like they are weird but they like being weird you know I feel like they really accept themselves we also have tattoos and piercings and or piercings so they may have some we also have psychologists. Ooh, we also have content creators. So these are some possible careers for them. Um, I do feel like with this psychologist, it's also about like how they are as a friend. I feel like they really um, are able to give great, great advice and they're always there to help and for their friends specifically. I feel like their friends are very important. I, I would even say that friends are more important to them than actually their family. Um, I feel like there could be some sort of drama with their family, not necessarily drama, but there could be some sort of heaviness to it. And so I feel like their friends are really like their support system and they're really like the most important thing for them. Um, we also have ambitious. So I do feel like they have very, very big dreams. Sometimes they may um, zoom out a little bit and for, not, not forget that you're there, but they may forget about the world. Uh, of how ambitious they are. You know, a little bit like Capricorns. <laughs> Capricorns can sometimes be a little bit of a workaholic. I don't, it's funny because I don't really get a workaholic kind of place. It's just like, um, whenever they are working, it's like you can talk to them, they're not gonna listen. You know, they are so in the zone, they are so focused that they really forget about the whole world and they don't listen to anything else. I even feel like they could listen to music a lot. It could be very significant for them. We have over here, uh, beautiful we have the six of cups this is awesome you may actually know each other from past lives um but we do have pleasure there i feel like they love to eat <laughs> uh i feel like they really love um and it's funny because i feel like it's not any food it's like they love that home comfort food you know that grandma food kind of vibe or mother food you know Th that food that you just cook at home. Um, and whenever that happens, um, that really brings them a lot of peace and tranquility. And it's funny that I, I said before that their relationship with their family may not be the best. And I actually feel like it could be with the masculine side of it. And because of it, the mother side may be um, a little bit, or maybe with that thing of the grandma, maybe the, the grandma died, uh, already passed away, and they Whenever they eat that comfort food, they always get reminded of the good old times, you know? Um, and I feel like they get a little bit nostalgic and everything. Um, and I feel like that hurts them a little bit. I also feel like they like to treat themselves uh, good. So I feel like they're not afraid to like go shopping and buy themselves some new clothing. <laughs> um, I feel like they, um, they really like that. I feel like they really like to please themselves and to feel good about themselves. Um, they're like physical, um, physical side, like their, their, their body, how they dress, how they appear to the world. I feel like that is also very important to them. Um, not in the sense of like that they care about other people, 
but in the sense of like they like to go look good, they like to feel good, you know. We also have here the Five of Swords in defeat. I definitely feel like that is talking about that family, and it's so interesting because it's like the the masculine there, the man is the it's the person that is laying down, you know. So I really feel like they could have cut off their family or a specific masculine person in their family because of some past quarrel or something. I do feel like it has been related to um, like who they are in their path because their family, I feel like they wanted them to be someone else to do something else in their career. And they were like, bro, I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna do what I love, okay? We also have here science with the six of swords. So I don't think that that really, I mean, I feel like it obviously affected them, but it's almost like it didn't, they had to move forward, you know? I feel like they have some wounds. This whole thing that I'm talking about may actually be something that they hold very deep to themselves and very near to themselves. And then they may not um, put this out there straight away. And so you may only find this a little bit later on in the relationship, I feel because I feel like that is something that still hurts them a little bit because it's almost like they didn't have the time to kind of heal from it. They just had to move forward, okay? We also have the Nine of Pentacles. They are very independent. And again, they're they're very single, <laughs> by the way, but I feel like they are very confident and very like, I love me, <laughs> you know? Not in a selfish or, um, I don't know, self-centered way. I just feel like they are very, um, no, I feel like they are, they like themselves. And that it, it, that is, I feel, because they had to work for that. You know, I feel like they had to really push forward. And especially if it is about a career, we do have content creators. So maybe that was something that their parents um, weren't really open to. And they really had to put in the effort to grow their brand, to grow whatever they do and to make that into something solid, to make that into something, to turn that into something really good long-term, you know? I feel like they had to battle a lot, especially um, like with people. And that is why I feel like they are so focused on themselves that they are so, they are lean on so much on themselves. It's because they know that they do have some friends, but they know that they, in the end, they're only going to have themselves. So I really feel like they focused on that. So let's see here how the relationship will be. Ooh, we have judgment here and with the empress. So this empress is, is really aligned with them. And I feel like they are gonna make you feel good. You know, if you're a little bit insecure, they're gonna be like, no, 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 honey. Come on, let's, let's hype you up. <laughs> let's change your wardrobe. You know, I feel like they're gonna really help you feel like yourself and feel confident. And uh, I even feel like they may help you align with your best version. I feel like it's going to be a very expensive um, relationship. I'm not sure how long it's going to last though. Uh, it's almost like that is a little bit up to you because I feel like the purpose of the relationship would be fulfilled straight in the beginning. And then from that point forward, it's up to you to decide you wanna keep going towards this or not and just enjoy it, you know? Uh, do you want to enjoy it or do you want to move towards a new relationship? I feel like it would be um, up to you, but not in a sense of like um, the relationship will not work after the purpose is done. Um, I don't think so. I, f I actually feel like it could be as long, as short as you would want to, you know, after the purpose is completed. But I feel like the purpose will be completed um, straight in the beginning of the relationship as you get to know each other because I feel like the biggest thing, it's about hyping you up. The biggest purpose of this relationship, especially in your life, I feel, is to kind of motivate you and make you go towards your dreams. And I do feel like you're going to also help them heal this kind of thing um, that they have with their family or at least find some peace with it, you know? Um, and after that, it's up to you. So we also have here affection and determination. So there's, I think, like the determination of making you fly, making you believe, making you go wherever you want to go. And I do feel like it's going to be a very sweet and kind relationship. I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun. It's that type of like 
friendship love, <laughs> you know, is that type of, of relationship where it feels like you're dating your best friend, which is so beautiful and romantic feelings, but with romantic feelings, right? And we also have here, this could be the one. So I really feel like it, it's going to be fun and it's going to be really light. I feel like you're going to laugh a lot. I can see you laughing a lot. And um, I'm also seeing like a fair. So you may go to a lot of fairs together. Um, and maybe it's not like a physical fair. It could be just like this thing of the whole relationship would look like a fair. Uh, like you have so many attractions and you have so many things to do and you may actually travel a lot together. And I, I feel like you're gonna just have so much fun. You know, a fair with the, the roller coasters and the wheel and everything and the, the candies. I feel like it's just like pure joy. This is so beautiful. This is really beautiful because I feel like you're gonna have so much fun. And with this romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like for some time, again, this may start has like, like a friendship. You may, you may actually already be like best friends or something, but this may start has a friendship. And so when it comes to this point of like taking things to the next level, you may be a little bit, I feel like you both may be a little bit like, ah, oh, is it safe? Like, I don't wanna lose what we have. I don't wanna lose what we have been building. And I feel like it's going to be okay for you to move things forward, you know? Your feelings are really worth exploring. So don't hesitate in going towards this person in expressing your love because I feel like it's going to um, move the relationship towards a beautiful place, okay? So we have the Ace of Pentacles. You also have Digitalis on how you may know each other. For some of you, you may actually know each other through work. And again, maybe you already do. You also have the Orchid. And the Three Cups. See, Three Cups is about friendships. <laughs> so I really feel like for some, you already know this person. We do have some Libra energy here. We don't have a lot of signs, to be honest. I was getting um, Capricorn there. We have some Libra here with the Digitalis. Not much more. Maybe they have some water energy as well. They are very creative, I feel. Um, but with the three cups, this is all about friendships and celebration. So maybe it's not necessarily that you're already friends with them, but it could be that you may know each other through mutual friends um, or something like that. Maybe in a party. Maybe you already met them actually in New Year or during New Year time. I am picking up on like for someone, this may be quite specific, but for someone there could be like a New Year party uh, and you met this person. And then I feel like you may start um, or you've already started following each other on social media or when you meet each other, you may actually start following each other on social media. You start catching up, you know, you start, start talking, you start getting to know each other and things start to develop. But I do feel like there's something here around friendships, around, um, and I also feel like it's going to catch you at a time where you're distracted. And what I mean with that is that I don't necessarily feel like you were um, single and ready to mingle. You may actually be single and a little bit hesitant in mingling, you know, because um, you may be still healing from something or hurting a little bit. Um, but I feel like this person is going to catch you when you're distracted. So this could be about career, when you're starting a new venture, when you have, I don't know, like a big exam. I'm seeing this girl here studying, um, studying, <laughs> she's reading, and I'm thinking like the girl could be studying. So you could be studying for a big exam or something like that. You could have like a big presentation in your career, in your work. And so you, I, I really feel like you're gonna be distracted doing something else around career that is going to be really important for you as well. I feel like th there's this message of like, you're gonna do well. Um, so that's a confirmation there. But I feel like there's this message of like, um, it's like, do that, focus on that, and just let this person come forward. Because I feel like you're gonna have a lot of fun with them. Yeah. Um, I do feel well, let's just build some timing to see, but I do feel like uh, it could happen more towards the end of the year if you don't know them yet, okay? 
So let's pull here some timing to finish this off. Uh, again, there is going to be, my goodness, sorry. There's going to be a link below for a private rating dedicated to, uh, well, the link is going to be for the shop, but the private rating is dedicated to new love. So if you want to dive deeper into this, if you want to, there we go, can we get some more? Um, if you want to dive a little deeper into this, look at what is working in your favor, what are the blocks, how can you align with them better, what is their uh, current energy around love and everything, then the link is going to be down below for you to check that out. So we do have in a few days and within a week. Oh, so it's actually really fast. Maybe the connection, the relationship, uh, maybe you will get together more towards the end of the year. But yeah, dude, in a few days, within a, within a week, there's that energy of like, it's already around you, I feel. It's already around you. So just say it, just say it, just be, just be open, okay? <laughs> so Pisces, this is what I have for you. Um, I hope this resonated. I hope you're excited. If you are, don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, the link is going to be down below and that's it. So I do wish you the freaking best. I love you very much and I'll see you in the next one.